Hello and welcome back to another episode of Just Jordan Things. Today, the thing is shopping. Today we are in Hillcrest going to Daryl's Modern Trends. You know and love them. Let's go inside, see what we can find for our next whatnot shop. Whatnot shop? Whatnot sale. Whatnot? Oh, it's going to be a long day, isn't it? If you're new here, I'm Jordan of Just Jordan Things, and I'm a reseller, but also I'm a marketer, and also I have ADD, so we like to do a lot of different things. Ooh, shiny crystal glass. I think, because we determined this before, crystal has sharp ridges on the top and is a little bit heavier than what a glass bowl would be. And these two are pretty much the same size, and this is way heavier. So I'm gonna go with this as crystal, and uh, I'm gonna go with it's going in my cart. Look at that, I got completely distracted in my intro as I was telling you guys who I am. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, and um, you are going to experience a lot of different things with me. We try different things, we do different how-tos, and uh, this is a channel for learning. So enjoy the ride and enjoy the shopping trip. Everything that we find here today is going to be for sale in my Whatnot store. You can find the links down below to everything. But what I really like to do is, since I am such a novice, young reseller, we like to discover new things and learn on this channel. So if you're all in for learning or helping me learn things, please, if you see me say something incorrectly or have information on any of the pieces that I put in my cart, help me, <laughs> please help me. You'll be helping me and our fellow resellers and we'll all enjoy learning something new and building this community. Now, one thing I've been getting questions on a lot in my sales is, do I have any vintage men's clothing, vintage men's t-shirts? And I'm like, besides, you know, all the things that my boyfriend has had since high school that he still has in his closet that are now technically vintage, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. So we're gonna peruse a new aisle today and we're gonna go look at some vintage clothes too and see what piques our interest. Also, I have to find a dress for the wedding that I'm going to in Italy. And what we were just informed is that because the church has such strict rules, the women's shoulders have to be covered and our knees have to be covered. So it has to be a knee length, at least dressed with shoulders covered, which is kind of hard to find. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that as well. What are you? A parchment scroll? Oh, hi. Nice. That is really interesting. It takes longer to roll up than I thought it was going to. Oh my gosh, don't fall. Super easy to ship though. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That's beautifully done. Oh, this is just a pretty blue bowl. I'm really into home decor and figuring out how to style different things. So that's kind of where my eye gets drawn into what I pick up for my sales. Oh, look at this platter. It's signed on the back. I think this is just interesting enough to go in my cart. And you know what? It's, it's May now. It's June, right? It's time to start thinking about fall decor. I'll give you guys a scan of the shelf here just so you can call out all the things that I'm missing and uh, not grabbing. What is this giant spoon thing? Oh, oh my gosh. It's actually really heavy. It's like a brass ladle that you put on the wall. Oh my gosh, I don't want to ship that. No thank you. Ooh, but what are these? These are cute little plates. Touch mechs. I'll have to look those up, but there's two of them and they look hand painted. I think we're going to put these in the cart and look them up. Oh, don't break them. What are you? It is Corsica, Corsica Home. Mosaic, pretty unique. Oh, the bunny. I feel like this is one I'd have to look up too, but I'm not as inspired by this one. Love a good cake plate. You can never go wrong with a good cake plate. This is cake plate by. It's just a generic. It's got the made in China sticker, but it's really nice. And it's in that same theme. You can see the leaves on here, but honestly, it's so big that really hard to ship. I'm going to leave it. Moving on to this side. What do we have here? Is this a salt and pepper shaker? But it's just one. If we find the other one, we'll come back and grab that. Oh, don't break things, Jordan. This is really cool. Are they sterling silver wine corks? I actually, I really like these. These are going in the cart. Oh, now we're talking green glass. Look at all this. These pictures are beautiful. I think this one is my favorite. This one's gonna go in the cart. All right, we're gonna move to a different part of the store. We're gonna look in the cases and see what we got today. Now, I know someone was in my comments last time asking about something that was in here, and I am so sorry it sold 
pretty immediately after. If you still see it, let me know. But I think when I asked Daryl, it was already sold. I think it was a bag and it was sitting right here. Um, purses in this area sell so fast. But if there's anything else that you guys see that you would like me to pick up for you the next time I'm here, please let me know. I think I'm gonna grab that set because Dun Dungeon Dragons, they just came out with a movie and honestly, it's just a really fun game. Ooh, that would be so cute to put little plants in. Oh my gosh, I love the mirrored back. It makes it look so much bigger than it actually is. And then you could like put a shelf in there and put your plants and make a little terrarium. So cute. I'm sure that was used for like what, doll miniatures maybe? Look at this guy. What are you? You are signed on the bottom and this glazing pattern is beautiful. Look at this. This is going in the cart. Is this an old coffee grinder? Oh my, okay, it's a little broken here, but okay, we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna stop touching things. But I'm thinking that was an old, like you would grind up either coffee grounds or maybe like mill flour? No, I think you need a bigger one to mill flour. Does anybody know what this is? What is, oh, cause this is where it would all deposit. Oh wow, look at how old this scale is. Columbia family scale. Was this for like a store probably? Like a family store, the storework. How heavy is my hand? Now I've done well with bronze and copper bowls before, and this one is a little more decorative than the ones I usually get. And you can see that it was hand pounded with all of those marks on the bottom, the texture. Oh, it's very shiny on the bottom. And it's from Sweden. Interesting. Okay, I think, I think this one's gonna go in the cart. Now, what are you? Cause you look intriguing. What do we got? Oh, okay. So at one point there was a label on this. There is some sort of mark here in dots. Can we see that? I don't know if that actually says anything. It's got a good weight to it. And this is a wooden handle and a wooden top. And it's in pretty good clean condition. All right, yep, you're coming with me. This is the back room with all of the shelves. The first thing I see right here are these stoneware salt and pepper shakers and they are made in Scotland and they're the Buchan, Buchan. That cork looks like it's a little past its due date, but that one looks okay. And I feel like it got replaced. So I feel like they might be easily replaced online. We're gonna put them in the cart. Oh, I think these are the same brand, the teacups that go with that salt and pepper shaker. Yeah, okay, okay. Is this a good brand? I have to look these up. One second, please. All right, so I searched them on Google and they do come up and it looks like they're selling pretty well. They're a pretty desirable cup. They are stoneware. Okay, for a set of seven with the creamer, they have it listed for 130. I think, I think I like these. I think we're gonna pick these up. Now the real question, do I wanna list them as a set of four or do I wanna list them individually? There's five of them and one of them is a different print. So that one definitely going on its own. But the four that are a set, I'm conflicted. So let me know, is there anybody out there that wants all four or would you rather have each individual one as a replacement piece? Let me know. Look at this pretty little thing. It's a plug-in lamp that looks like an old oil lantern. It's got the handle here and a dimmer switch. This might be how you turn it on. It's got that super old plug, so I'm not gonna try and plug this in and test it, but it does have a light bulb in here. Oh, I can't take the cover off while the light bulb's in there because the light bulb's round. This is really pretty, is that a crack? No, okay, that's the design. It's like a vine design that goes all the way around. Does it say anything on, oh, there's a sticker. There's a sticker on the cord. I can't read that. Okay, hold on, hold please. Oh gosh, Ooh, don't fall. I'm gonna break stuff. I remind myself to change camera angles so that you guys can see what I'm doing. That, that's gotta be the hardest part about shopping as a YouTuber. Underwriters Inspection. Oh, so it's not the name brand. It's just the inspection that they did. But you know what? It's going in the cart. All right, you know me, I see a tub of giant stuff over there and I have to go look inside. What do we got in here? Oh, how cool is that? It's a little note paper pad, but it's like a typewriter. Actually really cool. Are they sticky notes? It's pretty stinking cool. I think the thing that really caught my eye though is this basket with the lid. It looks like it's an old bamboo or wicker basket. Oh, you're coming out with me. What are you? Oh, I'm gonna drop this, I'm gonna drop this. 
All right, I'm gonna look this guy up because it looks like it's a tile and it does look like it's the same style. There's a couple different ones. Are you signed? Oh, you're upside down. You're upside down. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, it's not signed on the back here and it's not signed on the front anywhere on the actual ceramic part. See, this is us learning, learning together. And for those of you that actually understand or see something and they're like, oh wait, I know exactly where it would be signed. You're probably cringing at me right now, but you know what? It's okay. There's this internal conflict of, am I gonna put it in the cart or am I gonna not know what it is? But I think we're gonna put it in the cart. So don't worry. Oh, she is dusty and got a bunch of broken flowers on her head, but she's pretty. Cats by Edith Ann. A cat is a cat and that is that. This is absolutely adorable and it is signed. It's a 1999 piece of art. Huh, okay, wait, I'm gonna look this up now. Here's what finding. Edith Ann is uh, on Reddit. I'm intrigued. I'm not really getting exactly what I'm searching for here. So I'm gonna type in the name. See if anything comes up with that. We're do we are getting her cross stitches coming up. I don't know. Do we take the risk on it? Do we not? Pretty dingy, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it was done by someone that just started cross stitch, honestly. Like I, I probably could do this. You know what, let's let's do it. Let's let's see if anybody else out there knows who Edith Ann is. Look, see, here's the back with the signature and everything. So uh, we're taking risks. What are you? Metal. Ooh, it's very neatly decorated and it's engraved. This is a very pretty base, a bud base. We've learned the size bud base. It's a little banged up around the edges, but it is metal. So uh, eh, okay, in the in the bag it goes. Okay, and now I'm pulling out something that I thought was just a cutting board that I was like, oh, I'm not gonna pull that out. It's a painted cutting board uh, and it does have a signature on it as well. Look at us finding all this art today. Mativici. It is an avocado, celery, and bell pepper. I'll give you guys a good look at this. Maybe this will be my thumbnail images. I always forget to take a thumbnail image. Let's do this. You guys can be a part of the process of taking a, a thumbnail for my videos. Don't wanna look like a crazy person for the thumbnail video? That is step number one, because then people won't watch your videos. There we go, that was my thumbnail. Behind the scenes being a YouTuber. Step one, just be obnoxious. Step two, don't be afraid to talk to yourself in public, honestly, not that scary. All right, let's, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not seeing his artwork coming up. So that's gonna take some more extensive research, I think. Giant marble ball. Look at that, it's got a signature. Giant marble ball, going in the cart. All right, we're gonna take a brief interlude and look at some of the kitchenware because this stainless steel pot right here is something that caught my eye. Uh, stainless steel never goes bad. Stainless steel will be with you for life because it doesn't have a non-stick coating that you have to worry about cracking off. Let's see what brand this is. Cuisine Cookware. I've been actually looking to replace all of my ceramic coated cookware with sterling stainless steel pans because the heat distributes better, you, the cooking experience is better, and it's healthier for you. This one sold for less than $40. This one has some cleaning up that needs to get done to it, and it does have some like scratches at the bottom, so I think I'm gonna leave it. But if somebody out there is yelling at me right now, I'm sorry. This is a Fire King bowl. A Fire King mixing bowl. Did you guys see the label at the bottom? Nice. Disadvantages of being short. There's stuff up there that I would uh, not be able to get or completely miss. If I didn't remind myself, I have to look up here. What is this? We don't need that, we don't need that. All right, moving on. There's some dishettes here, but I'm not really, I'm not really into dishes or plates right now. I am into these though. Would you look at this? It's a candy dish with the rubber seal. Yep, and there's two of them. Ta-da! All right, this is a full set. I don't want to deal with that. What are you? Korean carrot bowl. It's a grape one as well. Made in Korea. Expressly for McCroy Corp. Oh, was this like a restaurant wear? Interesting. 
Dansk. I have a lot of Dansk and it's not selling. So we're going to leave Dansk here. Another rice bowl. This is a Gibson rice bowl. Interesting. I didn't know Gibson made rice bowls, but I guess they make everything. I guess it's not technically a rice bowl exclusively. It just kind of looks like it. You're really pretty. Blue rose fine china. And what are you? Oh, I can't tell. I kind of want to look this one up because this blue is absolutely beautiful. See, the sets are going for a lot of money, but one individual plate I don't feel like is worth it for me to list. Unless we can find the teacup that goes with it, I'm going to leave it here. Oh my gosh. This is an entire set of that original cup set we found. This changes a lot. I think I'll get the matching saucers that go with the cups that I have and leave the rest for now. And if it's still here the next time I come, then it was meant to be. And if not, say la vie. What I can do is take that one that was an oddball and put it back with the rest of the group over here. And I think these guys, that's a set. Okay, okay, we're getting places, we're getting places. All right, now we gotta figure out which one goes with, oh, that has darker green, that has darker green. These have a lighter, nope. They have the darker green too. Oh my goodness, I'm so confused now. We're gonna take, yeah, four sets. Four teacups, four plates, call it a day. All right, here's where we're at currently with the fullness of my cart. Everything is just balanced in here precariously and I feel like I need to reorganize it, but not yet, because we're gonna look down here at this stuff. Cool. Oh, it'd be really cool if this was a Lazy Susan, but it's just a serving dish. This is a Lazy Susan though. Heck yeah. There's a new Lazy Susan from Ikea that's like rectangle and it fits into your fridge in a different way where you can like lift it through. I don't know, it's really weird how it works, but it's super cool. A little lattice for the countertop, serving trays, serving trays, giant cutting board, and some platters that, oh, I'm gonna break stuff. So I'm just gonna, oh no, don't, don't. All right, we got this, we got this, it's fine. Rebalance, rebalance you back in here and then put you on top just like you were nothing's happening everything's fine let's move on to coffee cups and teacups jewel mountain jewel cave national mountain threshold that's a target brand right franny and norman jamaica this one's actually kind of cool falconware royal england huh. all right you have me convinced what are you you are well loved. What are you? Corningware. Oh, this is an interesting one. This is super lightweight. That isn't made out of regular pottery material. Columbia. Okay. What are you? Regular print on cup. More Corningware. More Corningware. Interesting. Naval Engineer Academy. We have a little teapot and teaser up here. That's actually kind of neat. Is, oh, wait, that's actually a really good brand. Okay, it has the matching cups. They're glass. We're gonna get it. What else is up here where only the tall people go? Mm -hmm. A vase, a lid, mason jars. Honestly, I actually just uh, was listening to a canner that's talking about new mason jars and how they're not tempered the same way and how they're exploding when they go to pressure can them. So vintage mason jars actually might be a good pickup. This guy, what is, what are you? I have so many questions. This is an interesting red vase. This is coming home just because I like how interesting this is. Uh... We gotta, we gotta reorganize this. This is, th I'm usually an organized person. In my professional life, I'm an organized person. But this is part of my professional life. Darn it. Uh, what's my excuse now? I don't have one. <gasps> this is really cute. I love this blue. Okay, this is going in the cart. Look at this, I reorganized. It looks so much better now. I have space. Do, 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 do. Okay, it gets the print, but not that it's a glass cutting board. Okay, so, I mean, like 20 bucks I would list this for. Not bad, okay, let's do it. Also, just to give you another behind the scenes of how, how this is going down right now. This is how I'm sitting on the floor. I'm just, <laughs> just, 
chilling and they're all spread out here. <laughs> this is what happens behind the camera most of the time. And this is why you need to wear athletic shorts when you go shopping. All right, more knickknack shelves. Aww. That looks like something that would be in my great grandma's house. She wasn't actually obsessed with cows, uh, but everybody kept buying her cows and she was too polite to say no. So she just had a million cows everywhere. Where are you? Stone gate? Interesting. Let me know. Okay. Would anybody pick this up even though it has an engraving on the front? I'm opting for it to no, know, but let me know in the comments what you think. Should I pick this up? What is this, a scale for ants? Is it a food scale? It's a, oh, it's a postage scale. Interesting. From July 1955. Is this a super old chopper? I'm pounding on it like that, but that's really cool. Ooh, cooking torches for your summer barbecue. I'm pretty sure that's illegal to ship. Is this a grater? Little ironing board, that's cute. One singular with glitter. Oh no, you stay far, far away from me. No glitter, never again. Glitter is never coming into my household ever again. I say that now before I have children. I realize that uh, I, that won't stand forever, but as long as I can prevent glitter, I will. I think this is a pineapple cutter. I don't know how it works. Cookie cutters, we got a rooster, little gingerbread man, a bear. They're all metal too. Interesting. Let me know. Cookie cutter lovers out there? Now this, this is cool. It's little apples on the handle and it's a pie server or a cake server. I like this one. Silverware. These are, okay. This is the kind of knife that you would like hide under the napkin to escape your captor. That's, that's what this reminds me of. That's what's going on. Silver plated. Ooh, another cake serving dish. This is stainless steel. Okay. Ooh, gold teaspoons. Yes, absolutely. Little roses on them. I love a good teaspoon. What are you? Tell me your secrets. Oh, wire cheese slicer? Oh, this is just a replacement wire. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, how would you use that? Oh, tea strainer. What are you? A vineyard wine key. I actually, I have a video out there from, I don't know, probably a year ago now where I had this, and this is the only thing I had um, to open a bottle of wine. And I had never used one before, never even seen or heard of one and um, tested a, a few different ways to try to use it before I successfully did it. I did do it, but uh, not correctly at first or twice. Got some barbecue tools, knife block sets, other cutting boards. Okay, what's that? Did we dig enough in here? This doesn't look like it's gonna be anything exciting. Old nutcrackers. Honestly, the ones with the bamboo handles are kind of cool. I think we're gonna take those. What are you? Oh, it's a thermometer. Let's see if it works. Just point it at your forehead. No. Okay. It's in Celsius, which really isn't that helpful. But look at this. I am thirty-two point two, thirty-five point two degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Aha, I can change it to Fahrenheit. 96.3, wow, that's actually really handy. Uh, yep. <laughs> Just to say, that's why you gotta dig everywhere when you're at the thrift store. Ooh, now, now we're talking yarn. All kinds of yarn. I do not need yarn right now. I, I absolutely do not need yarn, but I am starting to do more crafting shows on whatnot. So when I get those ramped up, you best believe you'll see yarn in there, but not right now. Oh, another obscure box just sitting here. Gotta look inside. Got some Tupperware. Don't need any more Tupperware. I actually replaced all of mine with glass recently. Our trinkets hiding over here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's plastic. It goes glass. I would love this. What are you? A little soup bowl. Another Target. All right, next up, let's look at men's shirts because apparently that's what we're gonna start looking at now. I also kind of want to do a makeover for Grant with a different style that I've seen of having like a loose fit linen shirt like this with trouser pants. I think he would look great in that. And any opportunity I can get for him to go shopping with me, I'm going to do it. I don't know if polos is the right section I should be looking in. I think I need to look in vintage t-shirts. 
all of these are long sleeves. I am looking for like a nice silk shirt for Grant though. So keep that in the mind's eye of what we're looking for and then find the t-shirts. All right. I vaguely understand how to look at men's t-shirts and know if they're vintage or not. Something about the, the stitching, right? That's a good sign. Um, a lot of the like brands that are vintage. I'm just gonna cruise through these, see if I see anything that looks vintage to me, like a Harley or I don't even know. Do, 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 do. Arlington, Virginia. You are a long way from home, my friend. Looks like most of these aren't graphic tees. They're all just like plain t-shirts, sidecar, motorcycle. I mean, I did say Harley. I, I was close. I manifested some sort of motorcycle. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything. We're going to do a quick little peek into their backyard section. See if there's anything back here that I need. I do need an outdoor patio set. I'm looking to get like a picnic basket or a picnic table though, I think. That's fun. Look at the arch really fast. This is beautiful. Not that, this. Okay, we just learned cross stitching is X's. These don't look like X's. So this would be, oh gosh, what's the other one? There's cross stitch and there's, I don't know. But this looks really cool. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up though. We're gonna leave this one. Mm. Am I gonna pick it up? No, I'm, we're gonna leave this one here. I put my card somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I lost it for a second. <gasps> my bad. I have to carefully push my cart because I keep dropping these little spoons on the ground as I go and everything is rattling. So just cautiously moving it carefully. All right, we are done shopping and I have everything packed up into my car and a few other things that I found uh, that Daryl sent me home with that I'm going to show you on my next listing party. So stay tuned for that. For those of you that are unaware, I do a bunch of lives during the week. I have a listing party where all of us can get together and be productive and list all of our items. You can see a preview of what's going into the show. And then I also do a live Monday or Tuesday morning, get ready, wake up for the day, kind of mental health jumpstart. We all can journal together and have a little fresh start to our day and have some accountability for getting out of bed early because it is really hard for me. And I know I'm not the only one that struggles with having a productive start to the day. So stay tuned for that. And then I also have my ship with me after my sale. So keep an eye out for all of my upcoming lives. Thank you for shopping with me today. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my videos and I will see you on the next one. Toodaloo. Also pro tip, always keep wet one wipes in your car after thrifting.